Hello, gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the realm. Fairy Vixen here, back again with another video. And since we're done with that last box, I have gotten a box of just necklaces. And I've also been going through my things upstairs. And I found some goodies. I found a whole bunch of scarves and scarf clips um, that I'm going to let go. Uh, and I also found this, which is not for sale. Um, needs to be polished. It is a sterling silver mesh. I did uh, polish this bit right here and a little bit on this side, but this is what it looked like when I pulled it out. It was my grandmother, great grandmother's, and I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna uh, sell it or not. It needs needs a little something here I don't know what was there um, but yeah this one online goes for about 220 so when I get it polished up it might be up for sale um, yeah so let's start out with something different different here's a viscose green viscose uh, scarf that is, let's see how long or how it's square, and it is the 24, yeah, 24 by 24, and it smells a little bit perfumey-ish, because, um, well, it's been in a drawer for a very long time. It was my grandmother's. So that beautiful viscose we're going to do for $3. She had a ton of these in different colors. I don't have many of them, though. This one is very nice. It's linen, I do believe. Woven in this pattern with fringes, fringy fringes, and it is also two by two, I do believe, hold on, let me get it measured, I don't know if anybody out there collects, uh, this is 28 by 28, um, anybody out there collect um, vintage textiles? This one is beautiful. It's a lovely periwinkle blue woven linen. It might not be linen. It might be cotton. But it's really pretty. And it looks like it's hand done. Hand woven. Beautiful thing. We'll do that one for four. Oh, this one. This is another viscose one. Crepe. And it is a, uh, it's like a off-white. Needs pressed. It's not stained up or anything, but it's hand embroidered and beaded in the corners. And that's a church and hanky right there. All right, let's see. We have, I know this is weird for me. This is a different, different thing. But I have a bunch of stuff that it's not really worth me keeping. And if there's any collectors out there, um, yeah, go ahead and grab them. This is 21 inches. And it has the dec decorative hand-done embroidery in the corners. And I am not sure who did the embroidery on these. Uh, probably my Aunt Sarah, because on her stuff, the back looked as good as the front. That looks like it might have been an applique. Yeah, that's an applique. Never mind, it's applique. 
but her stuff when she when she did stuff it it looked as good on the back as the front yeah they smell a little um like a drawer like wood drawer this one is from the 60s and it's long as opposed to square it is um let me see it's also viscose but not as old as the others it's a little smoother finish Whoop. okay this one is 14 by Fourteen by what? Come on, there we go. Fourteen by forty-three. So yeah, it's a nice long one. That's a nice one to tie around your noggin, and it's very, very nineteen sixties barely ever worn i don't remember seeing her wear this one a lot she had a green a beautiful green coat and a navy coat that she would wear this with i think i have both coats upstairs i have kept all of the vintage from my grandmother um two more there's not a ton here this is a regular hanky it's white and cotton hanky red and white very sweet very sweet this one is definitely 1950s you can tell by the print it's got a little feather on it <laughs> i had a feather boa in the same drawer and boy was it shedding Woo so i tossed it because it was done and this one will do for oh wait did i say did I say? We'll do this one for three. Um, shoot. I don't remember if I... I don't remember if I gave you prices on those other ones, but okay. Let's not worry about it. This one I'll do for $2. I know if you go to a thrift store, or not a thrift store, but like a vintage boutique, you're not going to get that for that amount of money anyway. Oh, wait, one more. This is a sash. It's a beautiful emerald green with silver embroidery and green um, sequins. And it's like three inches, two inches across. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Two inches by, and it's got the... Uh, tapered ends and let's do this for uh, this is a long one I'm pretty sure it's going to be longer than my tape Sixty. Seventy inches long. Really pretty. Really nice. Satin. I don't think it went to anything in particular. Unless Granny had a, a very opulent robe of some sort. I don't remember seeing whatever it came to or went to. So that is gorgeous. And we're going to do that one for three. So, that is the end of that. <laughs> and next up, I have a whole bunch of scarf clips to go with those. This one that's kind of cool. 
This goes, this would go nice with that 60s one. <laughs> Scarf slide. Okay, so. One for four. Two for two. Three for two. Four for two. Five for three. And six. Did I say six? Five, six. Four. Let's see. Does this have a name on it? No. We'll do this one for four. Okay. That is very, very cool. And very, very awesome. And I have a little box here. <laughs> it's now empty. I don't know what I'm going to put in it, but I'm going to put it over here. Okay, and then we're going to get into the beautiful, oh hey, and there's a couple more things that I brought down, hold on, if you like headbands, I have this one that's pearl, and it has a beautiful little off-white flower, and faux pearls, very nice, we'll do that one for three, and this is the same kind of thing, these feel like What? These are rough. So this is a uh, cultured pearls. It looks like, and it has a little peachy colored bow. Very cute. We'll do that one for six. All right. Now we're done with all that malarkey. Um. Yeah. I've been going through stuff, looking for stuff for the uh, the yard sale, but I wanted to give y'all a first crack at it first crack. Crackety crack, crack, crack a lacking. All right, this one is one of those wire ones, but it's, um, let's see, it's just shiny, let's see, silver and gold tone, Ooh, flip around, silver and gold tone, tone discs, Kind of neat. Do that for a buck. One dollar. I'm going to put it back in the bag so it doesn't get tangled up. Tangly mangly. One buck. Yeah, um, this is a departure. I'm not really sure if anybody's going to be interested in any of that. And if you're not, that's okay. I can put it out for sale on sale day. I really need to look up and see if we're actually having it this year because we didn't last year because of COVID. I'm pretty sure everything's all good and copacetic now. And we can get it done, do the do the thing, do the thing. Oh, there's another one that's wire. We'll do that for, for two since it's got this nice pendant on it. Hold on, let me get all the, get all the cat's eyes down where they belong. I'm always, I always pull everything to the front on these. There we go. Very nice. Pretty little thing. Three dollars for that. And then, ooh, this is on a nice, oh, hey. It's kind of got a, a lariat thing in the back. Or it's like a snake chain Shambhala. Shambhala. Remember that song? Yeah, this is adjustable. Very nice. Very cool. And, well, it has stops here. So it goes from this all the way out to that. And it is very sparkly. It's just a disc with rhinestones. Very cute, but I love this. Love it. You can wear that any old which way you want. It's great for layering because you can put it at any height. We'll do that for four. 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 
Duke baseball been very very good to me. If you're a baseball fan, if you go to the game, if you have a very sportsmanlike heart, and you just love the game, this one is for you. It's gorgeous. It's really cool. If I really liked baseball, man, I'd be wearing that. Baseball. Baseball. It's so cute. Or even if you just, you know, you go into the gym, you got your baseball cap on, you're wearing your athletic wear. Whatever. I love it. It's beautiful and sparkly and it makes me want to be into baseball. <laughs> That's so cool. Or I could wear it randomly with other stuff and people be like, huh? <laughs> you could do that too. We're going to do this one for four as well. All those rhinestones. Mm -hmm. All right. We have a lot of these that are beautiful resin. These are crackly. Um, we're going to do two on that one. Yeah, that's a pretty one. Nobody's going to know they're not glass, right? Two dollars? Can't be that with a stick. Ooh, lovely. Yeah. This one is tangled up. Tangled up. It looks like a ladder necklace. Kind of. Ah, there we go. Oh, wow. That got flipped around a bunch of times. This one's kind of neat. That's a ladder. It needs to have, this needs to be flipped around a few times to get it to hang right. There, there we go. Perfect. That's really neat. I like the configuration on that one. We're going to do it for five. Very pretty. <clears throat> Just a different, different, real different. Oh, here's a little bitty, little bitty one. It's a little, it's a little uh, enamel rose with a pearl in the middle. We'll do that one for three. Pretty. Three bucks. All right. All right, all right, all right. Ooh, this is all glass. Yes, this is glass. And it is like a, what is that, like an amber color and clear. And it's just strung on a uh, chain. Or something that looks like chain? Is it chain? I can't tell. But it's really pretty. And the beads are totally worth five. Nah, we'll do four for that. Four. Four. And it is 19, wait, no, 18 inches. Of pretty beads. Very sparkly. Ooh. Nice. Really? Oh, hey, whoa. This one is wood. And it's very cool. And it's got two little pieces of oh, pottery, looks like. I thought they were red coral, but they're not. Uh, and it's got a button closure on the back. Very tribal looking. Safari. We'll do that one for two. Two. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
big long rose quartz nuggets. Yeah, big long one. These guys are 30, wait, 34, 34 inches of rose quartz. There, you can see the pink now. Very nice. <clears throat> I'm going to do that one for nine. Nine? Nine? What the heck is this? This is a jumbled mess of purple and gold. And that is how it is styled. And it's really different. <laughs> There's a lot of little, these are plastic, okay. These are painted metal, the purple. This is glass. Any of this other stuff glass? No. It is, we'll do that one for a dollar. I like the purple, but I don't like how it's configured. Ooh, this is nice. This is knotted at the back. Polished cotton, and it's got this medallion, heart medallion, with all these <clears throat> dangly bits, and it's made to look like porcelain, but it isn't. They aren't porcelain, but it's really cool. We'll do that for three. Three. Okay, whoa, okay, whoa, whoa, hey. Did I have more than one of these? This is glass on chain. It's really pretty. It's, it's white and red, and they're all glass. I'm pretty sure. Hold on. Yep, they're all glass. And actually, I have two of these. So, we'll do these for three. Really nice glass beads. Wait. The big ones are not. But the small ones are. Okay. Three dollars. Gold and red and white. Here's another in that same color family. It's a shell heart. It's been dyed. It's red and clear. We'll do that. Oops. We'll do that one. For two. For two this. Whoa, what are we here? This one is kind of interesting. New York and Company. It's like, um, I like the chain on it. It's like a very tight Rollo chain. And then it's this. And then it's this. So it's a really pretty statement necklace in shades of green. It's got emerald green and mint green. And we're going to, that was $26. So, well, 27 almost. We're going to do that one for five. Uh, here is a beautiful graduated Looks like Monet, but is not marked as such. Oh, wait. Ooh, what you got there, Bubba? Hold on. Hold on a moment. Says, patent. And there's a number. So, yeah, I'm going to say this is like an old Monet that's not marked. Because it's that really shiny... Really shiny, really nice plastic. Graduated black. Black is always good for your wardrobe. Goes with every stankin' thing. And it is a vintage. And it is 28 inches. And we'll do this one for four. Really, I love the way these old beads feel. They're just so nice. 
they have enough weight that they don't feel chintzy. You know what I mean? I can't. I can't explain. Oh, speaking of things. Speaking of things we own. I got these two. I'm trying to decide if I'm keeping them or not. So if you like either one of those, let me know. They're really kind of cool. And uh, I'll do them for eight. I might. Well, I think I like this one. I think this one. We'll just get let uh, let this one go. This is steel. And we'll let it go for eight. Let me take it off and put it in the bin so I don't forget. There you go. Beautiful thing. Let me see the length on it. I'm going to say seven and a half because that's basically what fits me good. Seven and a half. Ooh, no, it's eight. Sweet. Eight inches. Okay. This is... I've seen this on a Chico's before. This particular configuration. Pendant. But this one is... A New York and Company. So we'll do that for four. Oh, this is a nice long one. I like how it's put together too. Who's who made this one? Whoop. Simply Vera or icing. No, that's simply Vera. I know the uh, the um. Oh wait a minute. Let's see. Let's get a better look. Cause I know icing has a similar one. No, this is simply Vera. Cause it's S's and V's. Icing is slightly different. It has a capital I cursive in circle like that. So this is Vera Wang. And it is, let's see. Resin and faux pearls and little tiny sparkly rondelles. It's really nice. And it's really long. Hey, really long. Wow. Holy moly. I'm going to say 40 inches, 50 inches. Let's see. Ugh. Which is 62 inches. 62 inches of loveliness. We'll do that one for five since it's so long and it's a Vera. Okay. Whoa, what are you? Thank you. This is really cool. Not that I'm big into like shells or whatever, but. This looks like Turkish finish on it. It is shell and stone. Look at the different kinds of stone in it. Here and there. It's got a bunch of different kinds of stone. That looks like coral. And then these are stone as well. Mother of Pearl. Plastic. It's got a bunch of different stuff on it. That is really nice. And it's three big strands. It's a whole chest full of beauty. You have the right outfit, man. That's that's a stunner. 
a nice cream colored dress and then all of your little stones would stand out or a nice like a sage green dress oh pretty a plain color like a plain color t-shirt whatever I'm just getting all in my head uh, we're gonna measure the sucker at At full length, it's a uh, 26th. 26. 26. And the short, there's really no short. It's just like two inches shorter. So 24 to 26. Ooh, beautiful. $8 for that. Oh, that's gorgeous. I'm trying to think if I have anything to wear that with. Sometimes you just want to, you just want to keep them all. Hold on to that. Here is another one that's mostly resin. Swirly resins. But then, look what they snuck in. They snuck in some tiger eye. That is tiger eye. And that is tiger eye. At the front of the necklace, they snuck in some tiger eye. That's amazing. Ooh, what do I have to wear with that? Such pretty colors. Beautiful. Mm. Very nice. This one doesn't have quite as much play, but beautiful. We're going to do this one for six. Cause it's got rocks in it, rocks in it. Ooh, we're gonna do these together. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is an old one. Oh, it feels yummy. Okay, so we have the ubiquitous black and pearl. Very, very classic. Those guys, and then here's another one. These are both vintage and they lay perfectly together uh, we have anybody else that wants to play maybe i don't feel like digging through but oh wait oh, 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 oh. i found something that could play too i don't want to break it I guess I should not have unpackaged all of this. Because they were all in bags and I just wanted to be able to pull from the... From the... Yeah. Hold on. There we go. This also. Rice pearls. Fresh water. Okay, so we're going to do a group here. These two, and that. So we have pearls and black, and we'll do all three of these for ten. And we're at 33, which means I've run over. I would like to thank you all for being here. Please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Head over to Raven's channel at Ra uh, Raven's Treasure Chest on YouTube because that's probably where we're at right now. Um, yeah, thank you all for being here. Please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment in the down there. And if you see something you can't live without, please do leave a timestamp of the item in which you're interested in the comments below. And if you... Would rather you could send that same information to my email, which is in my description. But if you do that, please include the title of the video and the date that it was posted so that I can find your items. And if you haven't bought from me before, include your name, address, PayPal email, and YouTube name so that I can match up your names. Get your invoice out to you and get your items in the mail to you. Remember that I love each and every one of you. And be yourself. Because everyone else is taken. Bye-bye.